Welcome to your digital classroom. I am Sajji Kevi and you are watching my channel The Eureka. The story All the Men at the Bridge is written by Ernest Hemingway. He was a novelist, short story writer and a journalist. This story All the Men at the Bridge is based on a real incident that happened on an Easter Sunday by the side of Pontoon Bridge in 1938. The narrator Ernest Hemingway was the correspondent there. This incident took place when there was the civil war in Spain. The civil war was fought between the nationalists and the republicans. The nationalists were supported by fascists, the rich and a group of military leaders. Whereas the republicans were supported by the poor and the ordinary workers of the place. It seemed that nationalists became very powerful there. As a result, on account of the artillery by the nationalists, the people, especially innocent people, were compelled to leave their hometown. And here you find a number of people are crossing the Fontoon Bridge on an Easter Sunday. Now, let's go through the story in detail. Old man with the steel rimmed spectacles and very dusty clothes sat by the side of the rod. The main character of the story, the old man who was wearing a steel frame spectacles was sitting by the Fondon bridge. He was wearing dusty clothes. There was a Fondon bridge across the river and carts and trucks and men and women and children were crossing it. There was the pontoon bridge. A pontoon bridge means a bridge made of hollow container. There was the pontoon bridge where men, children, women, carts, trucks, etc. were crossing this bridge. The mule-drawn cart staggered up the steep bank from the bridge with the soldiers helping push against the spokes to the wheels. Meanwhile, the mule-drawn carts, the carts drawn by donkeys, were staggering hard to cross the bridge. Meanwhile, the soldiers helped them by pushing against the spokes of these wheels. The trucks ground up and away heading out of it all and the persons plodded along in the angle deep dust. Meanwhile, the trucks were parked there and some of the trucks passed there were coming out from the dusty ground and the poor persons, ordinary farmers were walking in the deep dust. But the old man sat there without moving. He was too tired to go any further. Now, this old man was sitting by the pontoon bridge across the river abroad and he was unable to go further because he was tired of his long journey. It was my business to cross the bridge and explore the bridgehead beyond and find out to what point the enemy had advanced. And the narrator here is the soldier. And the soldier's duty was to cross the bridge and explore where the enemy had approached. I did this and returned over the bridge. And after doing the duty, the soldier returned to the bridge where he found this old man was sitting there. There were not so many carts now. Very few people on food. But old man was still there. 
it seemed almost all the people have crossed the bridge except a few people and the few carts that were left for crossing and the older man was still sitting there where do you come from i asked him the soldier asked the old man where have you come from from san carlos he said and smiled the old man replied that he has come from san carlos and smiled that was his native town so it gave him pleasure to mention it and smile he was proud of his birthplace as he mentioned his name his heart was filled with joy and pleasure therefore he smiled i was taking care of animals he explained then he told the soldier that he was taking care of his animal oh i said not quite understanding the soldier did not understand what he was trying to convey by saying that i was taking care of animals and said yes he said i stayed you see taking care of animals so i stayed there and i looked after my animals there i was the last one to leave the town of san carlos and he told him the old man told the narrator the soldier that he was the last man to leave the town he was unwilling to leave his hometown san carlos he did not look like a shepherd nor a herdsman and i looked at his black dusty clothes and his gray dusty face and his steel rimmed spectacles and said what animals were they this old man did not look like a shepherd nor an owner of large cattle though he said that he was taking care of the animals but this man does not look like a shepherd nor a herdsman and again moreover when he walked to him carefully looked at him carefully he saw he was wearing dusty clothes and he had a gray dusty face and he was wearing spectacles with a steel frame what are the animals you have got various animals he said shook his head and he said i have various animals many types of animals i have and he shook his head sadly in sigh i had to leave them i am compelled to leave these animals i was forced to leave the animals i was watching the bridge and the african looking country of the ebro delta wondering how long now it would be before we would to see the enemy and listening to all the while for the first noises that would signal that ever mysterious event called contact the old man still sat there now the soldier was watching the bridge and the ebro delta that was covered with the trees like the african forest and wondered long it would take the enemy to approach there and to hear the noise of their approach the man sat still there the old man did not go away what animals were they i asked there were three animals all together he explained he said that he had three types of animals they were two goats a cat then there were four pairs of pigeons these were his animals two goats a cat and four pairs of pigeons and you had to leave them i asked you had to leave the animals and go away yes because of the artillery yes i was compelled to leave my home town on account of artillery on account of firing the captain told me to go because of the artillery the captain ordered me to go away from there you have no family i asked watching the far end of the bridge where few last carts were hurrying down the slope of the bank 
Now, I asked him whether he had any members of the family. And meanwhile, he watched the bridge at the end. All the cards have closed. He said he had only animals. He did not have any family member at home. I started. The narrator was surprised. The cat, of course, will be all right. He said, the cat will take care of itself. Cat is a symbol of independence. A cat can look out for itself, but I cannot think what will become of others. Cat will take care of itself. And again, I cannot think about other animals, God and the pigeons. What will happen to them? I am not sure about it. The cat is a symbol of independence. What politics have you? I asked him. Do you support any political parties? I am without politics, he said. He said, he does not support any other political parties. He said that he does not support any other political parties. He does not support the Republicans, nor the Nationalists. He is without any politics. I am 76 years old. I have come 12 kilometers now. I think now I can go no further. I am 76 years old. And I have traveled 12 kilometers. And I cannot go any further. This is not a good place to stop, I said. This is not a place for you to remain here. It is dangerous place. The enemy is approaching. If you can make it, there are tracks up the road where it forks for Totoso. If you can cross this bridge, you find tracks lying where the road divides for Totoso. I will wait a while, he said, and then I will go. The old man told the soldier that he would wait for some time, then he would cross. Where do the trucks go? Where do these vehicles, trucks go? Towards Barcelona, I told him. The soldier told him that the trucks were going towards Barcelona. I know no one in that direction, he said, but thank you very much. I do not know anyone there in Barcelona, but thank you very much for the suggestion that you gave me. Thank you very much once again. He looked at me very blankly and tiredly, then he said, having to share his worry with someone, the cat will be all right, I am sure. He looked expressionless and tiredly and when he got someone to share you know to share his emotions he said I know the cat will take care of itself I'm confident about it there is no need to be unquiet about the cat therefore I need not worry about the cat cat can take care of itself but others now, what do you think about the others? Others may not take care of themselves. What do you think about it? Why? They will probably come through it all right. I think they will manage the situation. They will not find any difficulty there. You think so? Do you think so like that? Why not? I said, watching the far bank where now there were no cards. Now, I think they will take care of it. And he watched the bridge and there were no more cards left. But what will they do under the artillery when I was told to leave because of the artillery? What will these animals do when the firing goes on there? I was compelled to leave from there and I left there. Did you leave the dove cage unlocked? I asked. The soldier asked him whether he had unlocked the cage. Yes, then they will fly away. He said, if you have opened and kept the cage, 
they definitely these doubts these pigeons will fly away of course the pigeon doubt is a symbol of peace and harmony yes certainly they will fly but others is better not to think about others he said yes it may be possible the pigeons may fly away but others what would be the condition of gods it is better not to think about them so it is good that i should not think about the gods god is a symbol of sacrifice an animal of sacrifice that there are many innocent victims suffer on account of pointless war many innocent people are killed on account of war and they lose their property life and everything that they have achieved in their life thank you if you are rested i would go i urged get up and try to walk now if you have taken sufficient rest then you should go the soldier told him get up and try to walk now thank you he said got to his feet swayed from side to side then he sat down backwards in the dust now the old man slowly got up moved to and fro and as he could not move further he sat down there i was taking care of animals he said dully but not longer to me i was taking care of my animals there in my hometown and he said it very sadly and then i was only taking care of my animals i was taking care of animals i have no involvement in politics and the works of others there was nothing to do about him the soldier realized that this old man would not go any further therefore he could not do anything about him it was easter sunday and the fascists were advancing towards the ebro it was easter sunday and the enemy the fascists were approaching towards the ebro river it was a gray overcast day with a low ceiling so their planes were not up it was a cloudy day therefore visibility was less as a result the planes were not up for the attack and that and the fact the cats know how to look after themselves was the only good luck the old man would ever have the old man had only one luck that a cat could take care of itself they would be safe in that war rest of his animals and the people would be perished in the battle so here bridge is a symbol of life and death if the old man crosses the bridge and goes to barcelona then he will have a new life and if he does not go and cross the bridge then he will have to share the fate of his animals that he will be killed in the attack bridge also a symbol of negotiations it may be possible that there can be some negotiations some talk that can end the war old man is a symbol of innocent victims the old man suffered on account of this battle he is an innocent victim of this war therefore he represents all the innocent victims of war in spain and he also is a symbol of defeat of democracy it seemed nationalists were very strong and the republicans would be defeated thus the democratic form of government would be destroyed there in spain easter sunday the day on which jesus christ rose again is a day of hope 
a day of rebirth, a day of new life. And this incident also took place on an Easter Sunday. There may be a possibility of the end of this battle, peace and prosperity there. At the same time, the day is overcast. It's a cloudy day. There no hope is seen. Though visibility is less, planes have not appeared. Therefore, a bit of hope is left. Still, uncertainty lies. Thanks for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Give your feedback. And don't forget to ask your doubts.